Good afternoon. We'll just wait for other viewers. Can you hear me? Am I clear? Hi, Colleen. Malina po ba? Okay, it's already five. So, we'll start. Um, good afternoon. I'm Mommy Adra Gachalian of um, One Proud Mama in Samotsari. Good afternoon to you. Hello, hello. So, today I'm here to facilitate Growlier's live session. Uh, it's my first for me for Growlier, so bear with me, please. Um, to start off, um, I'd like to introduce Growlier. Uh, for those who doesn't know it yet, and yung mga hindi pa aware kay Growlier. So, si Growlier has been around for decades now. And here in the Philippines, I'm sure marami na ding nakakaalam sa atin or um, nakagamit ng mga Growlier books and products. And uh, they've been continuously helping parents and kids in uh, their education. Hello po. So, yung mga books ng Growlier, um, more uh, most often they're um, available to help parents jumpstart the learning education of their kids um, i for one uh nag start din ako with uh, educational books one of which is growlier um <clears throat> i forgot na yung mga lumang yung mga unang unang growlier pa because i already have a 21 year old and a 12 year old Hello po, good afternoon. Um, so yung books ng Growlier, um, more on education but then um, entertaining and fun din siya. Kasi hindi lang naman siya yung puro study-study, you know, yung parang serious-serious lahat. Although, syempre, um, <clears throat> yung parents need to be uh, aware kung alin yung mga dapat na ituro sa kids nila but then they need, they also need to incorporate um, entertainment and fun so may mga books si Growlier na specific for ages and um, <clears throat> sorry you need to ask yung in-home learning experts ng Growlier kasi they will uh, test your kids in different subjects, in different, um, let, let's say, yung IQ and EQ nila about math. Kasi si my youngest son, si Ezekiel, he's in grade 6 now. And we have been using uh, some of the products of Growlier. But before kami gumamit nun, kasi hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya basta-basta, I mean, I bibigay mo sa kid mo and then, oh, this one, you read it, ganyan, ganyan, maganda to. Yung parents also need to learn kung ano yung mga books na proper for the ages of their kids. So, with Z, with Ziki, or Ezekiel, um, <clears throat> we, he was tested then a few years ago. Um, if I remember it correctly, may mga, uh, May mga areas in math, in science, emotional, and IQ um, para ma-determine kung ano yung books na proper sa kanya. So, <clears throat> um, for you to know kung ano yung mga proper books for your kids, especially yung mga babies kasi yung mga babies and toddlers kasi um, informative, year, informative years yon So, Dapat talaga yung mga first few books that you will give them or first few uh, learning materials that you were that you will share with your with your kids dapat talaga yung uh, properly for best for the best for their ages kasi um, since I mentioned nga na formative years siya so dapat may mga process yan eh so you have to talk to the growlier uh, in house um, 
Role Your Child Learning Solutions Expert. Okay? So, we're done with the... Uh, um, with learning about Grolier. So, at least uh, by now, medyo alam-alam nyo na kung ano yung, uh, ano yung mga, mga books about Grolier. Siyempre, lahat yan mga educational, but then fun and entertaining din siya. Okay. So, to start the ball rolling with our session, I'd like to start with um, a few questions na nakita ko for those who na encounter ko for those who joined our um giveaway Spe um special yung giveaway natin ha? so sana sumali kayo so there there's this question from Helen Frias de Guzman magandang start to eh let me just pull up yung <clears throat> question ni Helen um <clears throat> first question niya is um, she wants to know now the technique how I introduced studying to my children while having fun. So as mentioned before, um, pag babies talaga and toddlers, um, you need to be really sure ko ano yung mga ibibigay mo. And it's not just ano eh, it's not just the basic ABCs and the numbers na one, two, threes, ganyan. Kasi you can give a lot more to your to your babies or to your kids. Kasi yan yung years na um, nag-explore sila, nag-observe sila. So yun yung mga skills na first and foremost na dapat na ihon mo. And of course, yung fine motor skills, your eye, hand, uh, eye and hand coordination. So ako ang inintroduce ko sa kids ko. Um, when, there were, when they were babies, I remember, of course, um, normal or natural na sa atin to start with, to start with storytelling. Okay? So, si, si Grolier, meron din siyang mga books na, um, they have stories with lessons, of course. So, syempre, pagka babies pa lang siya or toddler pa lang siya. Um, hindi pa niya maintindihan. So, you need to be creative as a mom or as a parent. Um, dapat alam mo kung paano um, paano mo ma, ma, um, parang paano mo sasabihin or paano mo i-interpret to your baby or to your toddler yung story na yun. Siyempre, may mga actions, actions ka dyan, di ba? Ganun naman tayo pagka nag-read ng, ng stories. Siyempre, yung tone of voice natin din, parang yung convincing na parang nandun tayo sa story na yon So, siguro, Lear, may mga books din siyang ganun na that will greatly help parents to um, to uh, instill yung values, um, i-perk up yung imagination, even ng mga toddlers. Siyempre, babies, hindi pa masyado. Makikinig lang yung, yung mga babies. Yung tone of voice mo, siyempre, dapat um, calming, soothing, and even if they they don't understand the story yet, uh, start na yon eh. Kasi, siyempre, I don't know how, with my kids kasi, um, when I started yung storytelling, Eventually, syempre, nagda-level up ako as, as, they, as they grow up. So, yung mga vocabularies that I use, uh, yung English or Tagalog that you use, mapipick up nila yan. Kasi, yung recall, and yung recall na yan, meron din uh, matuturo from the Grolier's books. Okay? Um... <clears throat> Kung, let's say with my, with my uh, youngest now, si Ziki, um, sometimes when he doesn't like to study, I need to parang um, create something na based on dun sa lessons niya, but it would be fun. Uh, for example, yung math. Uh, 
syempre marami din naman sa atin na hindi naman, hindi ganon kagaling sa math, okay? Pero gagaling because of recall then because matatandaan at matatandaan nila with constant uh, with constant uh, reading with them practicing with them even if in, even if uh, the subject is in science or english or math yan so matutulungan din tayo niyan <clears throat> um another question ni Helen is uh, what growlier products are best for a certain age that the kids can really enjoy I already mentioned this uh, earlier. So, depende sa age ng kids nyo yan eh. Um, there are books uh, na para lang talaga sa certain uh, age bracket na to. So, what you, need to, what you need to do is, yun nga, uh, seek the help of a uh, of a growlier expert para at least malaman mo kung ano yung mga proper books for your, for your kids. And also, um, what's fun with Growlier, um, even, even ako, uh, nat natutuwa ako kasi there are things that I didn't know when I was young. Tapos, um, ituturo ko ngayon siya sa anak ko, so matututunan ko din siya. Or, marirefresh yung memory mo na, ah, oo nga, ganito nga siya. Okay? Thank you, Helen, for your questions. <coughs> Um, okay, so since uh, nag-start na tayo, <clears throat> hold on na. <clears throat> um, I'd like to start, eto, uh, I didn't know na mag -e enjoy kami dito kasi math is really not our favorite subject, okay? Me and Ziki. Um, hindi naman siya favorite. But then, syempre kailangan siya for, for online schooling and syempre kailangan din naman ng, kailangan din naman matuto ng, ng math yung mga anak natin. Though, though of course, not, not all of the, the things that they will learn in the math subject, they will be able to use, to use in, in, uh, in college or at work. So this one, I'd like to introduce the Kimatic. There. Si Kimatic, we got this um, a few years ago. Basta mga more than two years ago na yata siya. So, I was really happy when I got this uh, Grolier Kimatic kasi <laughs> oh, allergic sa math. <laughs> Yun din yung term namin. Okay. I got this uh, Kimatic Ah, uh, nasakto naman kasi uh, si Z, si Ziki um was having trouble with ano, was having trouble with his math subject. He's in grade school pa, ha? grade 6 pa lang siya ngayon. So, um sabi ko, hindi ako yung uh, hindi ako yung magaling magturo in math and and uh when I was in school, hindi rin ako ganun kagaling. But then, the the funniest thing is, the funniest thing was, um, natututo din ako. So, if uh, if parents like me na hindi mahilig sa math, or they dread teaching their kids math, matutuwa kayo dito kasi, um, madadalian kayo eh. Eventually, um, every time kasi nagagawin nyo yan, matututo kayo, matututo kayo, and then you will remember na ganito yung answer, yung ganyan. So, um, hindi ka na, this, this, um, schematic is really, is really fun to use and, and educational din. Kasi, di ba when we were, Diba when we were uh, when we were young, ang ginagawa natin yung ganun ka finger counting and yung um, yung sa table, yung math, ganyan, di ba? Um, hindi na uso 'yon. <laughs> ang uso na ngayon um kematic. So in the box, there are books. So iba-iba din siya. Sorry. Hindi pala kasama 'yan. In the box, there are 
books included. Um, I think there are five books included. So this will help your kids. May parent guide siya. So you need to you need to read this first kasi um lalo na yung medyo kinakabahan sa math. You need to read this kasi this is uh, this will teach you how to use um the product thematic. Okay? Syempre you need to read, you need to read the guides first before you can teach it to your kids para mas madali siya. Okay? So the other four books are um, for division, multiplication, subtraction, and the pinakamadali addition. <laughs> okay, so um, inside the book, meron siyang uh, meron siyang mga lessons. Okay. Tapos, yung mga scores mo, yung ganyan, to track your progress. If you can see it. Nakikita nyo ba? Yan. So, for each subject, meron siyang ganyan. Yan. Um, if you will notice, hindi ako nagsusulat dito. I write it on my, ano, Actually, ha, um, actually, mas maganda sana kung dito ka magsusulat. But then, um, I'm thinking of uh, passing it down to to another nephew. So, at least makakatulong pa rin sa kanya to. Kasi these are, ano eh, these are books that can help any kid na um, kailangan yung help sa math and for me kasi, uh, mas gusto ko nang i-pass down siya. So, you can pass this book from generation to generations. So, after, so for this books, ito yung mga activities niya. Yung mga books niya. Okay? <clears throat> so, ito na yung, ito na yung ano, ito yung kimatic. So, it looks like a key. Kaya nga siya kimatic. <laughs> okay, so all you need to do is Teka ha I'll, um, Anyway, there are, there are five of these One, two This is for ano <clears throat> This is for addition For multiplication Division and subtraction. So, all you need to do, ano lang yan eh, um, nakakalito siya at first. Kasi, pag hindi ka pa, hindi ka pa sanay. Si Z, I just taught him, um, initially, I just taught him how to use this, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos later, after a few days, siya na lang yung gumagamit. Okay? Di ba maganda siya? Oh. At saka, matigas siya. So, hindi siya ganun ka-easy na masira. Tapos, even the number, even the, the, ano, the writings, hindi siya nabubura easily. So, even if you use it for many, many years, even if you pass this down to, to another kid, or if you pass it down to, to, um, your, your siblings' kids, okay lang siya. Hindi siya masisira kasi matibay siya. So, ang gagawin niyo lang, ganyan lang siya. Let's say, ganyan. Tapos, a-answer. Okay. Diba? Maganda siya. So, si Kimatic is an important training tool for your kids who are just starting in math or those who are having trouble with math. Um, kasi meron siyang <clears throat> etong key tools na to yan key tools na to syempre initially dahan-dahan yan um, initially pa isa-isa lang 7 divided by 7 ganyan hanggang sa matatandaan na niya yung answer so um, pagka nasanay na siya dito kasi Ang, ang maganda dito with kematic, once you memorized it, 
syempre ma may memorize mo na yung mga answers. So, when the teacher asks you a question na, um, let's say, 7 times 7, ganyan, diba? So, ma-answer mo siya kagad. Okay? So, aside from the the keys or the schematics, the books, meron siyang um, writing pens for you to write dito sa mga books na ito. But I've said, um, yan, para matrack nyo yung progress ng mga anak nyo. Okay? <clears throat> um, with schematic, actually, um, this product made my life and Isiga's life easier when it comes to math. So, maganda siya for your kids and um, magaguide siya if he needs improvement in the math department. Okay? So, let's move on to our next hold on. Medyo Mabigat. Ito. Fun thinkers. Mabigat siya kasi it's packed with learning materials. Okay. So, si fun thinkers, interactive learning tool siya. Um, it's designed to you know, tickle your child's uh, Curiosity, tickle your my, your child's imagination. Um, I'm not sure how many books, pero, eto, um, your kids, you can teach your kids about uh, basic grammar. Siyempre, pag, uh, pag English na yung subject, medyo, um, hindi naman nosebleed, but then, if, you're, you're teaching your kids English might as well be correct na din with the grammar. So, this this is one of the books. And, <clears throat> ito. Siyempre, pag bata, um, they need to construct sentences na, na based on their age then. So, uh, paano mo matuturuan? This book can help you. Ayan, simple, simple and short sentences. Diba? Tapos, as, apart from the words, apart from the phrases or sentences, meron siyang mga pictures. So, um, let's say na meron kang, meron kang kid who is just um, starting to learn uh, about making short sentences. So, ituturo mo lang yung mga picture, tapos ask him or her na, oh, what can you say about this picture? Tapos, uh, madedevelop yung communication. Um, yung fun thinkers, meron siyang, yung fun thinkers, meron siyang mga levels. This is level 1. Okay? This is level 2. Iba-iba siyang levels. So, um, of course, you will start doon sa <clears throat> uh, magsastart ka doon sa level 1 and then you progress um, once you finish this book you progress doon sa next level kasi it only means na once na na-finish na and all are correct all, all parang um, natuto na yung anak mo and especially tama naman yung mga, mga construction of sentences niya mga short sentences niya mga ganyan, mga basic grammar niya so, you can progress to the next level. Depende yan sa pacing of learning ng, ng anak mo. Okay. Meron din siyang solve the problem. So, ang, ang basically, ang, ang inaana dito ay yung thinking skills ng anak mo. So, um, parang you will pose a problem, you will tell him, a problem and then you will ask him to solve it. So, syempre yung mind ng anak mo, it's racing for the uh, for for the answers, ganyan. Syempre kung tama naman siya, mas maganda. May mga quizzes and games din siya. So, it will be fun for your kids. And um one thing lang na tip ko, when you are 
um, using these books with your kids, huwag niyo siyang pipilitin na matuto agad. Kasi depende nga yan sa pacing ng kid mo. So, titignan mo din, you, need, you also need to be observant din um, on how your kids are doing with each, with each, um, with each task. Okay? So, pag let's say hindi pa siya natuto doon sa first task, ulit-uli ng ulit, ulit-uli ng ulit, hanggang sa matuto na siya. Basta, um, don't force. Kasi, uh, ang mangyayari kasi, when you force a kid to learn something, um, ma-overwhelm siya, and then, parang, syempre, may, may mga kids doon na maiinis, or, or eventually would not want to read the book anymore or do, doesn't want to learn anymore kasi nga parang hindi maganda yung naging start. <clears throat> okay. So, ang fun thinkers pala has uh, 10 books. May math and thinking skills siya and may quizzes and games din siya. May levels, may three levels for English, math, uh, and thinking skills. Okay. Um, ang gusto ko dito din with fan thinkers, meron siyang uh, may yung yung may, minsan kasi may mga may mga sequencing problems si si Z. So, meron din siya meron din siyang matututunan dito like so, rhyming din and mind puzzles para ma spark naman yung ima, yung yung imagination ng anak mo and mag-iisip siya dito. Basta the key is not to force. Huwag pipilitin kasi nga yon, stress nga sila and pag ma-stress sila, siya pa di ba? Andiyan yung wala na, wala na sila sa mood mag-aral. So, sayang lang yung effort and if that continues, mawawalan sila ng gana mag-aral or even touch or open a book. So, dapat huwag nyo silang pupwersahin. Okay? Next is <clears throat> this one. This is called the morph one. Okay? As you can see, uh, wait lang, si Catherine she said, si Catherine Sikat, she said, ako, I'm in love now with Growly, your learning materials and tools so helpful with some kids. Yes. Uh-oh. -uh. Totoo yan, kasi um, even if Ziki is already in grade 6, um, marami pa siyang natututunan. And, um, may mga products kasi si Growly na as the kid ages, nagpo-progress yung level or nagpo, um, let's say may next product in line for the kid once he finishes this level or pagka um, let's say uh, medyo patanda na siya nagpatanda, ba Yes, oo uh, si Iva I agree mommy, Adria just let kids learn based on their face face, okay yeah, dapat ganon. Dapat kasi when when kids are learning or when you're teaching kids, dapat um titignan niyo din kasi may mga kids na uh, mas natututo sila when you incorporate fun and entertainment. So, <clears throat> merong mga kids naman na ang gusto na talaga nila seryoso agad, di ba? So, titignan niyo, maging observant kayo doon sa Gusto ng kids nyo. Okay. Um, si Colleen Candice, pero syempre mamo kailangan din kahit pa natutukan ng pag-aaral ng bata. Of course. Um, that's a priority kasi pag hindi mo siya tinutukan, baka mamaya there are questions that he, uh, that he doesn't know yung mga answers. So, syempre, uh, andyan ka to help. Diba? And, <clears throat> dapat iga-guide mo din siya na, oh, ito yung tama. Or, tatanungin mo siya, what do you think is the pro is the right answer? What do you think is the proper thing to do? Um, bibigyan mo din siya ng chance. Huwag mong, huwag mong basta sasabihin na, ah, dapat ganito yung gagawin mo. 
um, hindi dapat ganito kasi yan, ganyan ganyan no, don't do that, kasi um, para mas hindi siya masyadong ma-pressure you own, and, and matuto din siya on his own you also need to ask your kids na, oh what do you think is the proper thing to do what do you think is the, the right answer for this, or let's say um, merong isang problem, let's say dun sa sa um, dun sa isang subject so titignan mo din kung ano yung naiisip niyang solution give your kids a chance kung medyo maano na yan ha, um, give your kids a chance to explore din or um, tignan din kung tama yung answer nila or kung pwede din yung answer nila okay <clears throat> Uh, huh? Okay. Yes, mag enjoy yung mga kids. Like, uh, um, kasi, uh, syempre yung mga babies, di ba? Uh, initially, ang gusto niyang, nakiki- hindi pa naman sila nakakaintindi ng mga wordings, wordings. So, ang makikita, ang, ang basic lang talaga na pinapakita sa kanila, yung mga pictures, pictures. So, Siyempre, hindi ka naman basta magpapakit, magsha-show na lang ng picture doon sa anak mo. Um, like yung dati, remember, meron tayong mga flashcards. 'Di ba ganun tayo nag-start doon sa mga babies natin before. So kung meron kang ganitong mga books ng Rollier, um, may mga pictures, may mga pictures din siya. Okay? So, 'yun i-explain mo sa kanya. Wait, uh, ano? Um, may mga pictures din siya na pwede mong i-explain like ito, yung sa fun thinkers um, so mind puzzles siya, ba? Diba? so meron siyang mga pictures that you can show okay tapos kung medyo nakakaintindi na yung anak mo i-explain mo lang sa kanya of course at first first few times hindi pa niya magigets yun kasi syempre bata pa siya but eventually matatandaan niya na na let's say um, this one making faces oh, when you ask this girl kunwari this girl what is she doing she's smiling ba? Diba? so pagka tinuro mo yan sa kid mo turo ka ng turo every time ma recall din niya yan and matatandaan din niya yan eventually. So, um, I think may mga books na though, let's say, pang grade school na siya. Di ba may mga books din tayo for grade school na may mga pictures? Kung, kung let's say, um, wala kang available na pwedeng gamitin, pwede mo na rin gamitin yan. But then, kasi yung structure na ginawa ni Growlier meron siya kasi uh, by ages and by by pace so kung tsaka nga um, kailangan talaga na, na check ng Growlier kung ano yung proper dun para sa age ng anak mo and not only that kasi merong mga <clears throat> let's say toddler na siya okay toddler siya but then yung level of uh, intelligence niya eh, higher than his age na. Um, so, ang mangyayari nun, medyo maboboard na yung bata, ba? Diba? Kasi, parang, alam niya na lahat for a toddler to learn. So, you need to pace, you need to parang level up to the next stage. Kahit na hindi siya, uh, kahit na, if you think na hindi siya pang, pang, pang four year old lang, ganun. Um, Doon po pasok yung mga growlier experts kasi yung way of testing nila siya may magtatest yung yung kid or may mga itatanong sila sa kid um uh, doon nila malalaman ni eh, na ah itong itong bata na to uh, he's way ahead of his age so he doesn't need this book na parang para sa pang 5 year old pang 6 year old he needs a higher level of ano a higher level of um education. So, yung ibang books ng, yung mga books ng Rollier, may mga levels-levels siya. So, para hindi ma-board si Kido, 
So, kung tapos na siya sa level na to, let's say, na-understand na niya, and um, um, alam na niya yung mga answers, move on to the next level and the next level. And then, when you're done with this product, marami pang ibang products na pwede. Like this. More fun. It's actually spelled as M-O-R-P-H-U-N. Pero it sounds like more fun. Diba? Um, ito, nakakatawa siya. Kasi, hindi lang siya, um, hindi lang siya pang bata. Pwede din siyang, actually, nag-i-enjoy um, nag kami. This is a bonding activity for us. Kasi, it's, it's a box full of Legos. Yan. Um, sorry, bricks pala siya. Bricks. So, alam niya naman ang ginagawa ng bricks, ba? Diba? So, kasi ako, mahilig, ako and si Hobby, mahilig din kami yung mag, alam mo na, mag-create, create ng mga ano-ano. Ganyan. So, etong more fun na to, eto siya. Yan. Meron siyang guidebook. Okay, si Z is already in grade 6 but he greatly enjoys playing this with us kasi he can create um, things na na iba-ibang klase. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and dito sa guidebook may mga ayan, like, like this one I think this is an angel yata. Of course, this is a horse. So, Paano mo matutunan gumawa ng, let's say, this, ano pala, more fun, more fun, for ages, ano, four and above. But I'm telling you, even, kung mahilig yung parents mag-create, create, and mag-build ng building blocks, mag enjoy din kayo, like me, and my husband, and my, ano, my eldest kid. So, <clears throat> Ayan siya. Simple lang naman eh. You need to create. You need to create things out of the bricks. Pero, what's fun is, ah, uh, oh wait. Pwedeng, let's say, eto. Simple lang siya. Let's say, a cam uh, camel, di ba? So, for those who are, ano, for for kids, fun talaga siya. Kasi, cam, syempre, syempre, um, um, your kid was able to to create a camel diba? so nakakatuwa siya <clears throat> Pe, but then pwede ka din mag progress may mga section sections kasi siya eh. so parang yung sections niya parang nagle level up yung mga um, matututunan ng kids okay may mga may mga medyo complicated na din. Like ito. Would you believe this is a skeleton? Pero syempre, pagka sa imagination ng kid mo, this is a skeleton. And I made it, I made it like an, ano, a skeleton. So, um, ikaw naman, uh, just allow your kid to, to, you know, play with it, tinker with it. Um, basta kung ano yung pwede niyang makreate out of these bricks. Tapos, um, as they grow up, I'm sure magda-level up yan. Siyempre, um, like si Ziki, uh, ang gusto niyang i-create with these bricks are, ano, robots. Yan. Tapos, siyempre, ma-fight, fight niyang ganun yung mga robots na yun, diba? Uh, diba? It's fun. Uh, for, for me naman, siyempre, pag nag-create ako, mag-iisip ako, mag-iimagine ako. Kasi this, this, ano, this, um, this product, um, it can perk up your imagination. Siyempre, it will help you um, let your creative juices flow. Kasi, um, mag-iisip ka, pwede bang mag-create dito ng, let's say, um, a flower, ganyan. Or a dog. For for some, siyempre, medyo mahirap pa. ba? Like this kid. Oh. Helicopter. May, parang, parang ako nga hirap na hirap ako dun sa helicopter pero of course may guide naman siya um, nakakatuwa tong ano na to kasi ang dami niyang um, ang dami niyang 
pwedeng ano, pwedeng gawin. Okay. Tapos Teka lang. Madami siyang pwedeng gawin. Tapos syempre uh, yung mga matatanda na diyan pwede nang mag-create ng mas ng medyo mas ano, mas exciting, di ba? So, <clears throat> teka. Um, a little a little information about Murphon. Um, pwede siyang i-connect horizontally and vertically in six different ways. Tapos pwede siya yung mga nasa slide, slide siya dyan. Kasi meron siyang mga, mga ganito. So yung, yung parang yung ibang mga toys na pinaglalaroan ng mga anak natin na ginagawa nilang mga, mga blocks, blocks din. Um, two ways lang siya. Pero this one, pwede siyang in six ways. Nasa book din yun. Um, for, for the bricks, let's say, yung anak nyo magsa-start, um, kasi it starts at 4 years old, diba? Pwede naman siya mag-start at an earlier age. Uh, kung halimbawa, um, ma-observe nyo na parang he likes to play with bricks. He likes to connect. He likes to create things using the bricks. Let, let the kid, sige lang, kasi dun siya natututo eh. And it also helps uh, with the fine motor skills. Siyempre kasi magiging busy yung mga, yung mga fingers niya. And also, um, yung eye-hand coordination niya, madedevelop din siya. Also, uh, kasi siyempre mag-a-assemble siya na mag-a-assemble, di ba? Mag-iisip, mag-iisip din siya kung ano yung mga gusto niya ang gawin. Uh, this is good for different age groups as mentioned kanina, hindi lang siya pang bata, pwede din siyang pang, pang teenager na, pang matanda okay, pang adults na so uh, tapos it comes with the storage box, so para hindi makalat, after syempre, you need to teach your kids to pack up, after playing yan, isang, isang ano yan, dapat na ituro nyo with your kids syempre alam naman natin yan na after they, they play dapat they need to pack their things up so ilalagay lang dito sa box and yun na, pwede na siyang itabi kung saan saan na hindi nakaharang so yan, may guidebook siya <clears throat> okay let's move on alam nyo nakakatawa kasi may mga products talaga si Grolier na um, pwedeng pampamilya like ito nga yung bricks so parang uh, the whole family will enjoy bonding moment yan so parang maglalaro kayo, magkakreate kayo tas syempre um, com uh, if you want na may competition kayo um, sino yung may mas magandang na create out of the out of the bricks okay Yes, yan. Even adults na enjoy siya. And yes, good family banding din siya. Okay. Yes, like, oh, oh na enhance yung creativity. Kasi mag-iisip ka, um, is this, let's say, um, may gusto kang gawin, may naisip ka, is this possible with the bricks? Magagawa ko kaya to? So, ang mangyayari, um, your kid will try to create it and then, if you think na yung kid nyo medyo nahihirapan in creating, in creating um, the object from his imagination, you can also help them. Kasi yun nga, doon pumapasok yung bonding moment nyo with your child. Okay? And <clears throat> this next anon, this next product na I got from Grolier, um, pang family bonding din siya. And, would you believe na we've been playing this game since mga maliliit pa sila? Um, no. Basta, I think siguro mga around. Kasi my, my eldest started in school when he was two and a half years old. So, iba yung level of ano niya eh. Ma mas madali siyang natuto. So, parang naghahanap kami that time my eldest is 21 na ha. Um, that time when he was just three, nagsuschool na siya. So, nag, parang 
na-overwhelm ako kasi naghahanap ngayon ako ng mga learning materials na um, to keep up <laughs> doon sa bilis ng uh, bilis niyang matuto. Kasi if not, um, if I haven't mentioned it yet, my eldest is a special son, is a special boy. Um, mobility lang yung problema man niya, pero yung mind niya is, he's really intelligent. So, I need to keep up. So, I need to create uh, something, or I need to create uh, things na that would make him, parang, that would help him learn pa rin. But, uh, fun pa din siya. And, syempre, yung nakakabun-bun pa din kami, di ba? And, if, um, hindi ko alam kung maraming nakakaalam sa inyo nito, pero, uh, popular na game to with our kids. And, um, actually, not with just kids, with adults too, kaya perfect bonding ano din to. Um, we usually do, we usually did this when they were young, even with Ezekiel, while in the car. So, may, may sasabihin kaming word and then they will look for the for that particular object or that particular um, uh, thing, ganyan. So, eto siya. I spy. Sinong mga sino dyan sa inyo ang mga naglalaro ng I spy? Even without the books. Kasi, even without the, ano, this, this books. Kasi, meron siyang 10 books. Maganda siya, di ba? Um, um, para may word na ginagamit aside from I spy, pero I spy, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, di ba, a, a, um, yellow tall object, yan. ba So, ganun lang kami noon. But then, I got this, and, um, super nag-enjoy kami with this, kasi, uh, ano na siya eh, <laughs> meron siyang, <clears throat> Meron siya mga pictures-pictures din. Okay. So, ang gagawin nyo, kati yan. Meron siyang, can you see this? Yan. So, dito sa picture na to, you will, you para, para ma-play nyo yung game. Let's say, I spy a horse that rocks and horse that rolls. So, maghahanap ka ngayon ng horse dyan. Diba? Parang, ano, hindi spot the difference. Pero, pero parang maghahanap ka din sa kanya. So, this one naman, I spy, I spy a lion and eight cats. So, this will be fun for little ones. But, kami din nag enjoy kami dito. Kasi, um, aside from the board games that we play, when, when we're not busy or when we're bonding, we play this Kasi, pabilisan yan eh. Oh, pabilisan siya. Okay. So, syempre, sini yung team na manalo. Oh, this one. I spy a pair of sunglasses. I spy a horse. I spy a, uh, a starfish. A comb. Diba? So, pabilisan kayo dyan. So, mag-e-enjoy siya. Mag-e-enjoy kayo dyan. So, marami din siya. Aside from this one, lahat siya may mga ano. Lahat siya, may mga pictures. So, iba-iba siyang box. Iba-iba siyang box. Iba-iba siyang topics. This is a book of riddles. Dito naman, mystery. They also have, ito pinaka, ito one of my favorite fantasy. School days. Siyempre, famous to, treasure hunt. Diba? Marami yan, marami yan. Marami siyang books. Tapos, um, when you're, syempre, when you're done with one book, depende din yan sa, 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 um, age nung anak nyo. But then, um, kung, napap, kung, kung pumapasa naman siya dun sa isang book, and then he finish it, he finishes the book, move on to another level. Okay. So, that's, all four of my Growlier products that we are using, but mostly we're using all, uh, the, the Kematic. Kasi talagang yun ang kailangan kailangan niya. Okay. So, 
Um, let's move on to the questions. Sabi ni Colleen, we create memories din sa bata. Maalala niya yan. Yes. Oo, ba? Diba? Mas maganda yung the whole family is playing together. Tapos, syempre, um, mas nag enjoy yung mga kids. Kasi kasama niya yung parents niya and siblings niya. Okay. <clears throat> so, may mga questions. When, when you joined the giveaway, may mga questions na gusto ko din siyang um, i, gusto ko din siyang sagutin. Um, eto medyo na, medyo kailangan natin tong mga mommies. Kasi, syempre, um, matagal na tayong naka-quarantine. And, yung mga anak natin, uh, all, most of them are, are online schooling na, ba diba? So, so, Wait lang, kasi sabi ni I, Iva, I spy, I'm familiar with this. My kids' therapist is using this as occupational and speech therapy. Yes, oo, pwede siya. Kasi yung communication ng kid and yung pagiging observant niya, um, na-enhance din siya or na-develop din siya. So, yan. Question, eh, question, um, how to be a gorgeous mom and wife despite of being a blogger, foodie lover. So basically, yung bio ko. Uh, I, sabi ni Helen Frias de Guzman, I admire you on being you that still manages your time to do that, to do all that with all your heart. Mahirap siya. Actually, it's, it's pretty hard kasi, um, but then compared to uh, working outside, or working in the corporate world, so, so naiiwan yung mga kids um, with the with the kasambahay. So, parang, uh, if I want, if I'm to compare, mas gusto ko na din yung nasa bahay ako, kasi, and, and working online, kasi, um, I'm able to assist kung ano yung mga kailangan ng family ko, and if, let's say, may mga, mga problem sa school, at least andyan ka aga, di ba? May mga needs sila na kailangan. It's, it's really hard, but, um, kung yun talaga yung, kung yun talaga yung love mong gawin eh, and not just being a parent or a mom, parang kung yun ka talaga cut off, I mean, parang, um, for me kasi, I've, I've always wanted to have a family, to have kids, so, Parang na-prepare ko na yung sarili ko, bata pa lang ako, na this is what I will do when I have my own family, ganyan. So, um, syempre, you also need to take care of yourself. Um, hindi, first and foremost yan, first rule siya actually, you have to take care of yourself first. Kasi, you won't be able to take care of your fam of your family pagka ikaw naman yung, yung may sakit. So, yun, yun, Siyempre, tayong mga, tayong mga mom is we, need, we also need to be healthy. And um, it's not because naman na, na nasa bahay ka lang palagi. You, have, you don't have to dress up. You don't have to fix yourself. Kasi, um, siyempre, parang alaga mo na din yan sa sarili mo. And it's really nice when you look in the mirror na, oy parang ang blooming, <laughs> parang ang blooming ko ngayon, or parang ang pretty ko ngayon, um, despite all the, all the, uh, house chores, <laughs> diba? Parang, after, after, yung iba nga dyan, before sila mag, mag, ano, maglabada, maglaba, naka nail polish pa, or naka, ano pa, naka ayos pa sila, diba? And, okay lang yun, it, it's not, ano, it's not, uh, masama naman to take care of yourself first um, eyes eyes din pag may time kasi uh, dun parang it can uplift your spirit pagka nakaayos ka magaang yung pakiramdam mo and um, syempre pagka maganda yung yung positive and maganda yung yung feeling mo for the day maganda din yung yung um, yung labas nun, so pati yung family mo magiging happy din sila, so syempre sa yung lahat siya magsa-start para 
para yung energy na inilalabas mo maganda din siya. Okay. Um uh, actually Helen, hindi ko mas uh, there are times na hindi ko na ma-manage yung time ko. <laughs> so dami nang ginagawa. So um there uh, mo, most of the time since since my husband is here naman and he can't go to work yet. Uh, syempre, tinutulungan din ako ng asawa ko. Ganun talaga yon Tulungan lang kayong mag-asawa. So, if there are things that I can't do, um, siya yung gumagawa. So, dapat, ano din. Um, it's not naman na, na, dapat tutulungan mo din siya. Or magtutulungan din kayo dapat pareho. Para at least, di ba, happy family din kayo. Okay? <clears throat> um... Learning at home. Si Ami El Cuero wants to know when when we started online schooling, medyo nakaka-stress. I'm sure lahat tayo na experience natin na mas stress kasi biglaan ah, biglaan na kailangan nating merong ganit may gadget, kailangan natin ng may laptop, kailangan natin ng isang area na where your kids can <clears throat> where your kids can study properly na hindi sila madidisturb. So, merong we set up an area here in the living room. Merong isang area si Ezekiel na yon yung area niya for online schooling. And ang tip ko lang, when your when your kids are um online, dapat walang distraction. So, um walang naka-open na TV, walang ibang noises. As much as possible, um, hindi sila madidistract from outside uh, outside noises or even yung mga noises yung sa bahay. So, when you're, when you're um, let's say, ako kasi, usually I have a webinar. So, naka-earphone na lang ako para hindi siya madistract. Or if I need to, if I need to, um, to talk during the webinar, um, I go someplace else para hindi siya madistract. First and foremost, siya yung importante na hindi siya nade-distract. Kasi, he's just a kid. And, syempre, may mga ibang ano din. So, parang, uh, para mas maganda yung pag-study niya. Yan, meron siyang isang area. No distractions. Not even gadgets. Dapat wala yan. Wala yung mga gadgets na yan para maka-focus. What we do with Ezekiel also, pag-break uh, time niya, um, we tell him to... Let's say, let's say pag recess time, he has um, 10-15 minutes na, na free time. So, if he doesn't like to eat, we make him rest. Especially his eyes. So, pinapaklose namin yung eyes kasi para hindi naman siya napapagod. And, um, good thing is, since sa school nila, meron ding mga, meron din mga brief, um, brief, uh, time na pwede silang tumayo. Syempre they need to do they need to pee, they need to drink, 'di ba? So para at saka they need to stand up from time to time para hindi siya maano. Hindi siya hindi masira yung mata, hindi masira yung likod. Okay. Um <clears throat> Techniques si Honey Kale uh, asked Techniques on how to encourage your kids to learn and focus in their, in their studies. Simple lang naman yan eh. Um, yes, apart from the apart from the the area where they can they they can study um, silently at saka yung dapat walang mga distractions, no gadgets, at saka if they need to focus on ano kasi um, ang ang ginagawa kasi ni Isikel after class doon niya na ginagawa yung mga assignments niya all the things he need to submit for the day or for the next day para at least after that um, para dire-diretso so naka-focus talaga siya doon sa studies niya um Ariana, na-answer na din yung questions mo. Si Joe Visas pa asked, How will I encourage kids to read? Ito medyo ano siya. Kasi, 
um, may mga kids talaga na hindi mahilig magbasa. But, syempre, for starters, when they, were, when they are kids, they need to learn to to read books then And sa school din naman, tinuturuan sila ng ganun. So, to, para to start yung love nila for reading, uh, gawin nyo every night, syempre, di ba, yung usual, yung usual stories natin. Tapos, kasi ako, mahilig din akong mag-read ng mga pocket books ay mga, no, mga novels. So, I I think na na ano rin nila yun sa akin kasi lagi ako nagbabasa. But then, um, choose books na appropriate for, the, for their ages. Yun yung unang-una. Kasi kung hindi yun yung para sa age nila, let's say, um, let's say medyo mas pang, let's say pang 5 year old lang yung anak mo pero pang 7 na yung binibigay mo, they might not understand kung ano yung nasa book. So, first and foremost, dapat, kung ano muna yung proper dun sa age niya. And then, you move on, as mentioned before, you move on to the next level hanggang sa ma-develop na niya yung love of reading. And, um, dapat meron din kayong um, specific time for reading each day. Kasi masasanay siya, masasanay siya hanggang, so, hanggang sa lumaki na siya, parang, Um, lagi na siya nagbabasa ng book kasi na yun na yung nakasanayan niya and not just that kasi kung talaga i-continue niya yung reading he must love reading talaga so yun yung mga first off na start um, <clears throat> na-answer na to Marites Billiones what products of Grolier would fit my youngest kids in their homeschooling um, yung answer ko kanina you need to seek the help of uh of Grolier's experts kasi yun nga may mga testing na gagawin sa kanila to determine ko ano yung proper proper products for them kasi baka mamaya ang kailangan nila uh, not just yung ka-level, ka-level nila but yung higher than that uh, hold on now. na-answer na din to ay sa Petilia How to make learning fun at home with the help of Grolier products. Um, as mentioned kanina, yung, yung products that we that we use, um, sometimes ziziki, yung guma, ziziki lang yung gumagamat. Sometimes all of us, we like playing with him. We'd like, we like creating blocks with him. So para more fun siya, parang gagawin mo siyang family, family bonding. Para, para, tsaka, Um, your kid, since online schooling, so he's always at home, so si, hindi rin nakakalabas si Ziki sa, sa, sa street to play with other kids. So, syempre, you need to ano, compensate. Dapat kayo din. Kayo na lang. Yung family na lang. Ang, uh, yung, yung social communications kasi suffers uh, because of the, the pandemic. So, dapat hindi pa rin, dapat may communication pa rin kayo within the family. Hindi yung nasa isang sulok kayo, kanya-kanya kayong nag, nag, uh, ano, nag-gadgets. Tapos di na kayo nag-uusap because you're always on the phone. You're always on the gadget. Um, lagi ka na lang naglalaro or lagi ka na naka-Facebook, di ba? So, ang tip is, um, dapat in, 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 there will be hours during the day na you all get together and yun, usap kayo anong, ano, what happened during the day how was your school, parang ano pa rin yung usual ano, but then andito lang tayo sa bahay okay, so um I guess that's it uh, sabi ni Yan, anong ways para di sila madali magsawa Um, yung kids kasi talaga may tendency silang magsawa eh. So, kailangan maging creative yung parents na alamin kung ano yung mga next na dapat nyo ibigay doon sa, kid, sa kids nyo. Kasi, kung yun at yun na lang kasi nga naman yung ginagawa niya. Na-memorize niya na. Diba? Na-memorize, na-memorize niya na yung buong book. Okay? So, you need to look for another level up ka na ng book. Para hindi naman, hindi naman siya magsawa. Okay. So, that covers yung, uh, hold on, sorry, wala. 
yung ating live session. Hold on. Eh? Kasi I need to get nga pala yung winners for the giveaway. I know you've been waiting for it. But... Teka. I'm supposed to mention kung sino yung ano eh. I'll just get the ano. So, any, ano, any, nag-enjoy ba kayo kung sa live session natin today? I hope may, may mga natutunan kayo. Kasi, ako kahit na, um, kahit na malalaki na yung mga anak ko, and ako kahit na adult na ako, uh, nag enjoy pa rin ako dun sa mga ibang books, and specifically yung, yung bricks ng ano, bricks ng more fun okay wait lang so thank you for listening thank you for watching and since naka live tayo wait lang hindi ko kasi makuha yung winners ng ano eh ia-announce na lang po Dito din sa comment section after this, ipopost ko na lang po kung sino yung winners. So, congratulations to our three winners. Sinend kasi sa akin yan kanine. So, I hope na meron kayong natutunan and I hope nag-enjoy din kayo, hindi kayo na-bored. <laughs> um, this is my first with Grolier. And, uh... Marami silang products that your kids uh, will enjoy. And, uh, sana may mga natutunan kayo doon sa mga products that I uh, showed you. Um, quest, teka, may, may question si Chari Rehis. How can I help my child to develop her confidence in early stage um, when my kids were young, ang style kasi namin, pinapabayaan namin sila to explore, observe, explore things, at saka there are situations that they need to, ano, to undergo, there are problems that they need to tackle, so, at first, pinapabayaan lang namin sila. But then, syempre, nandun pa rin yung guidance. So, kasi, mahirap, mahirap mag-build ng confidence kung wala ka ding, syempre, dapat yung guidance ng, ng guidance and support ng parents mo, nandyan din siya. Kasi, kids pa lang yan eh. So, dapat talaga, when they're kids, tama lahat yung ginagawa natin for them. Kasi, they will grow up na dala-dala kung ano yung mga natutunan nila nung bata sila. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's been a wonderful one hour with you. And thank you for all your questions and thank you for joining the giveaway. Yun na nga, I'll announce it later. I'll post it in the comment section here. Um, you can PM Grolier for your details once I post it. Thank you, thank you. And uh, maraming maraming salamat po for tuning in. Sana Next time then, manood uli kayo. Thank you so much. Bye!